Now, you may have noticed that I brought a bowl full of candy. Now, suppose that you saw that bowl full of candy out there, and somebody told you that you can take as much as you want. And someone else told you that you shouldn't take any at all. Which one would you listen to? Okay, why not? This seems like it's safer than taking some. Okay. But what if somebody really wanted people to enjoy that, so they put that out there? Who would you listen to? I think the point is not, what are they saying? I think the point is, who's saying it? So let's suppose that your brother said, hey, take as much as you want. And your dad said, leave it alone. Which one do you listen to? You listen to dad, yeah, absolutely. Now, suppose that Satan said, take as much as you want. But God said, do not steal. Which one would you listen to? Listen to God, yeah. And you know, we're tempted with that every day. Satan comes to us and he says, do this, take that, say that, you know, don't do this. And he's got all these temptations. And God wants us to learn to listen to his voice. Remember when Jesus was in the desert and he was tempted by Satan? He was out there for 40 days and there were three big temptations that we hear about. The first one is Satan said, make some bread out of these stones. Remember what Jesus said? He said the same thing after every temptation. He said, it is written. So Satan was telling him one thing. Who was Jesus listening to? He was listening to God. He listened to what the Bible said. We always listen to what the Bible said because sometimes we're going to be tempted to do things that we want to do, but we know God says we don't. So it doesn't matter so much what people are saying. It matters who says it. If God says it, it's absolutely true. If Satan says it, it's a lie. It doesn't matter how good it sounds or how hard it sounds. We want to learn to listen to God. Jesus did, and we thank him that he did because he never sinned once, and so he can forgive us and take our, our sins away. You ever listen to Satan's voice? Yeah, I do sometimes too. So what happens when we listen to Satan's voice? What do you do then? Yeah, we sin. Then what? Then we repent. What happens when we repent? He forgives us every single time. So, is this a temptation for you guys? I don't know how much sugar is a temptation for people. So if I said you could have some, would that be okay? Or do you think maybe you should ask your parents if you, can, if you could have some? I think your parents should decide. So what we're going to do is you can take some, but then you can't eat it until your parents say it's okay. All right? So let's pray. Pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for all my blessings. Thank you for my forgiveness. Help me to remember that you never sin. So you're always here for me. And you love me and you forgive me, and you're always with me. In your name I pray. Amen. Okay, you may have some, but your parents have to decide when you can.